my name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior, bringing you a 39 gun streak with the Honey Badger on the Xbox One. Now, if you've been following my channel for really any time in the recent few days, you'll know that I've been grinding the next-gen consoles, and by next-gen consoles, I mean the Xbox One. And since I have a little bit of experience on it, I kind of wanted to give my two cents on if I think buying the next gen right now is worth it or whether you should keep your money or just not buy it at all. Now, I am saying this from completely just a Call of Duty player standpoint and nothing but Call of Duty. Do I think it's worth upgrading to the next gen console right now? And the answer to that is no. Reason being, I have had the Xbox One for about three and a half months now and i I find myself only playing the 360. I don't see myself playing the Xbox One hardly at all except for the past few days. And that is because all the games are on the 360. All my friends are on the 360. And all the noobs are on the 360 for Call of Duty. And then I come over here to the Xbox One. And there's only about like 20,000 at the most people online per time. And what that makes it hard to find lobbies. I was playing Ground War today and there was only like 750 people in the playlist. And, you know, that made it kind of difficult to find lobbies. And if there was a lobby I didn't like and I wanted to back out and find a different one, I wasn't able to do that because there wasn't that many lobbies for ground war just in general. So is it worth upgrading to right now? I don't think so. Um, Call of Duty Ghost, I think, is better on the 360 just because there's more people, more servers, and more everything on the 360. And what I think once the next Call of Duty comes out and the next few games come out that are just completely made for the next-gen consoles and the Xbox One and the PS4. And then from there, they're kind of converted onto the 360 because it seems like with Call of Duty Ghost, it was made for the 360 and then just kind of slapped onto the one with better graphics and whatnot. But I think when new games comes out that are completely catered for the next-gen systems, then I think those games will absolutely kick ass. So I guess grab your console now while you can before the new games come out that are specifically for it. Um, you know, i.e. like Titanfall, the next Call of Duty, the probably the new racing games will be crazy on it. I don't really play racing games, but from what I've heard, sports games are absolutely ridiculous, whether it be NBA 2K14 or NHL, or if it's a racing game like Forza 5 or any of those games are absolutely crazy on the Xbox One. And I heard that PS4 is a little bit better than the Xbox One. But, um, you know, this video isn't about PS4 versus Xbox One. Um, I bought the Xbox One just because that's what all my friends said they were getting, even though none of them have got it yet. So, sadly, I can't really play with any of them. Um, but, you know, the Xbox One's what I got. The best way I can describe the Xbox One to you is it's pretty much Windows 8, but with a controller in your hand. That's pretty much what I found. You know, I've used both Windows 8 and the Xbox One. And the Xbox One is pretty much a more basic game, um, game-centered version of Windows 8, basically, where you can download games, play games, um, much better than you can on Windows 8, uh, but it's just a console version of a computer, pretty much, but that's kind of obvious, just because Microsoft's making their big movement towards Windows 8 or whatever, so do I think it's worth an upgrade now? No, save your money, um, Call of Duty is fun, but it's not as good as it is on the 360, in my opinion, hope you guys enjoyed the 360, and hope, or I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope this kind of help your guys' decision in picking whether or not you should buy the Xbox One now or waiting. Titanfall should be absolutely crazy on it. Um, should be fun on the 362, but, uh, you know, Xbox One, is it will be a great game for that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and drop a comment down below if you're going to get the Xbox One or if you think you're going to get the PS4 or whatever next-gen console you're going to get. If you're going to get one, have a fantastic day, everyone. Be sure to follow my Twitter. Link will be down in the description. Have a fantastic day. I am out. Right. Right.